Hey, it's going to YouTube Soldier Knows Best here. Here, about to give you a quick look at Android 2.3 Gingerbread and how it runs on the brand new Samsung Nexus S. This is the latest update coming straight from Google. This is the update that uh, has no custom skins, nothing like that. Again, just a pure Android experience here on the Nexus S. And so here, just at the unlock screen. So if you want to mute the uh, phone, just simply swipe uh, that button right there. If you want to go ahead and unlock it, just swipe it just like that. And the first thing you notice is the overall speed of the uh, the OS really flies on this. Now this can be part into the one gigahertz Hummingbird processor inside this phone itself, but I think overall the phone really flies. And uh, just using these live wallpapers here compared to other phones, you can definitely see a difference. And just even changing from the wallpapers, um, it's very fast, very simple, very easy. Tap just like that, everything loads up pretty fast, set the wallpaper and boom, you're ready to go. Um, so the overall speed of this uh, Android 2.3 is very impressive and uh, a much needed update. And just overall, you can tell just a, a more modern look than the previous version of the OS. Um, you see down here, you have a lot more things, a little bit more black and a little bit more modern, just like I said, even the dollar, and I pressed the wrong button, even the dollar, is it's a little bit more updated to be simpler and easier to use and more easier on the eyes there. And also, if we go into the browser here, I'll give you a quick look at the keyboard. Now, the keyboard is, uh, some people look at it, some early reviews, they're kind of complaining that it is a little bit, sm a little bit smaller, a little bit more cramped uh, than the previous keyboard, which it is the case. It is a little bit smaller, but I don't find that it's too hard uh, to type on. I don't find it too much harder to type on than the previous one. And this is the keyboard on the uh, Evo 4G. So the screen is overall bigger, but you can kind of get a difference of the, uh, get an idea of the difference between the key sizes there. And also copy and paste as well. So if you want to go ahead and start typing something here and um, simply you want to copy and paste this, simply tap on the button. You get an option to select the entire word or select all the words if you have multiple words there if you wanted to. And just select the word and you can edit. It didn't select the whole word, but you can edit it and uh, adjust the amount of characters that you want to copy. Simply tap on it and then you just copy it and boom, there you go. And also if you're browsing in the, in the uh, web page itself, again, just tap on the word. Tap up and one tap on it one time and just copy to your uh, clipboard there. And also taking a look at the camera application here in Gingerbread, it looks like it is reworked a little bit. Um, it's a lot cleaner interface for it. You can easily switch between the uh, picture taking or the camera mode to the video camera mode if you wanted to. And also here you got the settings right up here as far as uh, uh, change the different uh, color effects if you want to, add negative effect if you want to, sepia, mono, all that stuff goes very fast here. Even the change the white balance if you wanted to a little bit. Uh, turn the flash on and off there. Change the quality of the content that you're going to be taking as far as pictures and video. Even has a nice little dedicated YouTube quality there. And also you can just change uh, very quickly between the front and the back camera just like so. And uh, so again, so those are just a few of the things. Now they did add the uh, NFC near field communications inside this update as well. I can't give you a demo of that yet, but that's basically if uh, you lay this down on something that may have an embedded information into it using NFC, it'll pop up something maybe, maybe like a, a coupon or if you do it at a movie theater, maybe a movie trailer may pop up. Um, but just overall, my, my general impression of how Gingerbread runs is very impressive. I really like it a lot. It's very fast and this will be coming to other uh, Android phones here very soon. And uh, so you can be looking out for it uh, coming here, but it runs very good on the Samsung Nexus S here. Anyways, it's Soldier Knows Best here. If you have any more comments or any ideas about how the Gingerbread OS runs, leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching this video. Now we'll catch you later. Peace.